Are you sick and tired of going through all of your add-ons? Do you just want an easier way to manage all your add-ons? Do you just want a preset so you don't have to go through all your add-ons and enable certain ones that you want? Are you sick and tired of it? Well, in these easy steps... I can help you out. All it takes is a simple console, a simple uh, spelling of add-on manager, if I can spell add-on manager, ba bam and here it is. All my add-ons on a simple list, and here are my presets. I have a sandbox preset and an in-zombies preset. So, and as you can see, it'll say tags, so I can pretty much put a tag on it, and it'll, it'll enable it when, you know, I want to use it. So, uh, you have enable, selected add-ons, disable, enable all, disable all, enable add-ons with chosen tag, blah, 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 blah. You can uninstall all selected add-ons. You can do all kinds of stuff. But yeah, if you want presets in your Gary's mod. It's very simple. This is not an EXE. This is simple, simply a Lua script. If you don't know what a Lua script is, basically just it's an add-on for for Gary's mod, but you can't be on the workshop because it manipulates the menu in a way. So, here's how you do it. So, you're going to... There's going to be a link in the description to this page which has the simple add-on manager. And you're going to go here to installation. And you're going to click on click here to download the latest release and my freaking uh someone's sending me a message i'm gonna go here and you're gonna go to downloads and you go to a uh, simple add-on manager and you want to download this okay and if you open it up it'll look like this it's just gonna be just scary's mod and then you click on it it's gonna be like lua and all this crap so you want to go back to where it says gary's mod and you want to put this in your Gary's Mod dir directory. And if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you now. So what you want to do is you want to go to Gary's Mod. You want to go to Properties. You want to go to Local Files. And you want to go to Browse Local Files. Okay, once you open that, you're going to take this, this zip file, and you're going to just put it right in to the main just put it right there, replace, and boom, that's it, that's all you gotta do, and you'll launch Gary's Mod, okay, now that you're in Gary's Mod, you're gonna go get, press your console button, for me, it's F10, well, F10 work, makes it work no matter what, and you wanna type in add-on manager, underscore manager, and then this will pop up, and you can do whatever you want with it you can you know select multiple add-ons to get rid of them you do whatever you want to do with them so if you want to make a preset you just click the one you want and you're gonna go to here in this area where it says uh, add new tag to slow down you're gonna type whatever it is blah blah blah, blah. and then you're gonna put uh, add selected you know you're gonna highlight the one that you want and you're gonna do Add new tag to select it out. And then they'll put, you know, the word that you typed next to it. And then if you want to uh, select those those ones, you can just go to the in zombies or whatever. Okay, say, say if I wanted to enable all my sandbox add-ons. So right now I have all my in zombies add-ons. So what I would do is I would disable all my add-ons. But bam, it's going to freeze. Or maybe not. And then you're going to go to sandbox. And then you're going to enable, enable all add-ons with this chosen tag. If it's going to freeze, because it's going to enable all of them at once. And then there you go. That's it. All my add-ons right there. Boom. All my add-ons with Sandbox are all enabled. And to check that, check it. Just to check it, I'm going to go to add-ons. I'm going to scroll through so you make sure. Okay. There we go. Look, all the ones that I use for... Not in zombies, like the NPCs and stuff. Oh, I forgot to enable these. I did forget to enable some of my uh, 
other add-ons. And the only problem with this is the fact that the developers may not get the add-on manager gets the name from the the file name, right? What the file is called, not what the add-on is called. Like it doesn't get the name from the workshop; it gets the name from the file, and the file might not be the same name as what the add-on is. If you get my my flow, so that's the only problem. So, so if I open my add-on manager, F10 add-on manager. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. <clears throat> if I scroll down, you'll notice that you'll see S, S job, whatever the heck that is. You'll see all these like weird ones because that's what the file is called. That's what they freaking called it. It's their, it's the, it's the dev's fault. But <clears throat> oh, my chair is so squeaky. Um, but yeah, that's the only problem with it. Other than that, it's probably like, a, it's a game changer, man. Gosh, why isn't this in Gary's mod already? But I, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. So I hope that makes everything easier for you guys. Cause oh my god, that makes everything so much easier for me. And I'll see you guys later.